Erdogan sides with Ukraine as Russia adds troops to the border. This is a topic report. And our headline is going to be Erdogan refuses to recognize Crimea as Russia and supports Ukraine joining NATO. Let's see. This is from uawire.com. Turkey is committed to a strategic partnership with Ukraine, intends to expand cooperation with Kiev in defense, and does not recognize Russia's annexation of Crimea, says Turkish President Recap Erdogan after talks with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Istanbul. We stand for the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine. I'm sure you do. We reaffirmed our principle. principle. There's no principles when you're talking about nation states, folks. It's all the reality of power. And uh, we stand for a principled decision not to recognize the annexation of Crimea. Erdogan said, adding that he also supports the Crimean platform, Kiev's initiative to involve the international community in solving the peninsula problem. And Turkey is just looking to basically... Now remember, Turkey and Russia are also kind of allies... And they're kind of not, but they're kind of allies. So he's playing hes playing all kinds of uh, double-minded games here. This is another one. I could tell you a lot more, that go in a lot more detail, but that's not the point of this, this show. It's just to give you a big, uh, a, a brief overview of what's going on. But the ramifications here, I mean, I wouldn't even, I don't doubt the possibility that this is one of those, Turkey may have already talked to Russia behind closed doors and said, listen, we're going to do this, but listen, we're not going to really do anything about this. And Maybe they have an agreement, maybe they don't. Or maybe this is, Erdogan is a bit nuts. Erdogan has been purging his military like crazy, which is much to the benefit of, of everybody else because his military is degraded. They're not nearly as capable as they once were because they got rid of all their quality leaders. The United States of America is doing the same thing right now. The, the Bidenites are trying to purge the military of so-called right-wing extremists. So they're following the Erdogan model in that regard. And it, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of... I, I'm just going to say that before World War I, there were a lot of entangled treaties and contradictory treaties, if you will, where you could be an ally with a nation in one aspect and an enemy with a nation in another aspect depending on which treaty violations happened first and which obligation you had to defend one or the other whether that you've suddenly they're your ally or your enemy that's kind of what's going on it's a spaghetti noodle mess as nation states vie for a foothold and then in the new reality which really began starting about 2009 when the united states really began its significant decline as the world power Russia, inside the Kremlin's military buildup along the Ukraine border, this is from Sky News, at the Malaska railway station just south of the Russian city of Varenz, there is a small military camp, a few trucks and a tent. The clearing in front is rutted thanks to the steady unloading of military equipment in recent weeks. U.S. top diplomat warns Moscow of consequences amid Russian troop buildup near Ukraine. This is from StockSpeedsNew.com. Ukraine says Russia rebuffed attempts to start dialogue over troop buildup. This is todayonline.com. Ukraine, Ukraine warns it could be provoked as Russian troops loom on border amid fears of all-out war. The sun.uk.co.uk. If there, there won't be an all-out war. It'll be Russian separatists fighting Ukrainians. It'll be, um, what do you call a uh, proxy war. Proxy war between Russia and everybody else. Ukraine crisis. One step away from war as Putin masses more troops on border and U.S. warships arrive in Black Sea. This is from the Sun.uk. Ukraine crisis. Okay, and then we have Blinken warned Moscow of consequences amid troop buildup near Ukraine. This is CNBC.com. And finally from Miri.co.uk. British forces monitoring Russia's huge military buildup amid fears of Ukraine war.